Howdy friends, Bevan Cohen here from Small House Farm and today we're going to set up our do-it-yourself rain barrel and drip line irrigation system. All right, folks, so this is a pretty easy setup. Now, what we've done first is we've uh, installed some gutters up here along the pole barn. Um, these are just leftover gutters that we had from running gutters at our house. We got, I don't know, maybe 20 feet or so up here. So we installed that across the top of the pole barn, and then we run that down in this IBC tote that we got right here. This is, I think, it's about 250 gallons, um, which seems significant, but you'd be surprised how fast this thing will fill up when it rains. Um, but it's quite a bit of water and that's what we're going to use. Up front here now, you can see I've got a four-way splitter. We've got an adapter that we've put on the front of the tote that allows me to hook hoses up to it. And to that we've then attached this four-way splitter. Now this allows me to run four different hoses out if I want. One to uh, each different rows in the garden. Yep. You know, plants have different water requirements sometimes obviously. So this allows me to uh, control the flow, if you will. Uh, choose who gets water when, right? Now we can follow these hoses right on down into the garden and we can check out the drip line. Now you can certainly buy drip line uh, from your local garden supply center or even online. But what we're doing here is actually repurposing some old hose. Uh, we got quite a bit of old hose laying around here. Some of it had some cracks in it. Some of it we actually left out in the winter time, uh, unfortunately, and it cracked. But we're going to turn that mistake into an opportunity and we're going to repurpose that garden hose as drip line. So we laid it out here in the garden and then we just went down to where each of the plants are. We drilled two holes in it, one on each side of the plant thus creating our drip line. Then we went ahead and put some mulch over top of that. Mulch is important, not only because it holds that water down that's coming out of the hose, but also it's gonna help our garden retain moisture, which is key. I mean, it is hot and dry right now in Michigan and helping our garden retain moisture any way we can is very, very important. And so we've laid down some uh, straw here for some mulch. Another nifty thing that we did here that I wanna show you guys is, you know, sometimes, it's not gonna rain and this rain barrel is not gonna be filled up. And when it gets a little dry, I still wanna use the drip line irrigation for the garden. That's particularly important for the tomatoes. The tomatoes do not like being watered from overhead. Uh, it's bad for the leaves, it's gonna promote disease. So you're gonna to wanna to use that drip line anyways. So here's my workaround for when I don't have water in the rain barrel, but I wanna use my drip line system. So we went up to our hardware store and we got ourselves one of these uh, female to female hoses right as you can see it's got actually two of the same ends the receiving ends on the hose so i can use this hook it up to the fourth line on my splitter here then i can hook the other end up to my garden hose so i can hook my garden hose right onto this uh female to female adapter that we've got. It's gonna run into my four-way splitter. I'm gonna open up this channel and then I'm gonna open up the channel for the out. And the pressure from the hose is gonna go right down to my drip line and water my garden. That way I can water my garden even when my rain barrel is empty using the pressure from my garden hose. All right, now that we've got it all hooked up, let's turn it on and see how it works. Hey, well that worked pretty well, right? Now, some of the holes uh, that we had drilled in the hose uh, were a little small, and without the pressure from the garden hose, they just didn't really drip well. Um, the pressure from the rain barrel is just based off of gravity, you know, and it just didn't have the pressure to get all the way to the end of the hose and come out of those small holes. But we just used a slightly bigger drill bit, drilled some bigger holes, and uh, it seems to be working just fine. So with just a couple of hundred feet of uh, old hose, some repurposed gutters, and a rain barrel, we were able to construct a do-it-yourself drip line irrigation system for our garden for practically pennies. So consider uh, setting up a system just like this at your homestead. And if you have a drip line irrigation system that you've built, share it in the comments below. We would love to hear from you about it. Thanks guys, have a great day and happy growing.